rock and learn. It's learning time today, and today we're learning to tell time. I said it's learning time today, and today we're learning to tell time. There's a time to walk, and a time to run, a time for work, and a time for fun. But only if your chores are done. Haha, <laughs> that's right. We have sad times and happy times, and times for making up cool rhymes. It's learning time today, and today we're learning to tell time. Hi there, I'm Timothy Time, the clock that rocks. Cuckoo, and don't forget me. That's right, this is my friend Cuckoo, and we're here to teach you all about time. Yeah! If you look at the clock and listen to my rhyme, then you can learn the parts from me, Timothy Time. The face of the clock is where the numbers stay. In their special places every second of the day. The 12 is at the top and the 6 is at the bottom. Every time you look, that's where you will spot them. The 9 is on the left. And the three is on the right. The other numbers fit between in a circle. Let's recite. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. Running round the face are at least two hands. The short one moves most slowly as the hour demands. Cause the short hand is the hour hand. He's so slow I could slumber. He takes a whole hour just to reach each number. The long hand is the minute hand. She moves a little faster. Every five minutes, she gets a number past her. Some clocks have another hand that speeds around the face. This thin one is the second hand. Now pump up the bass. Yeah, pump up the bass. Pump it up now. Ooh, ooh. Uh, come on! Okay, okay, calm down! Oh, sorry, Cuckoo. I guess I lost track of time. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, brother! Speaking of time, now you know the parts of the clock that you read. In order to tell time, a clock is what you need. Let's start out easy. Telling time to the hour, I'll teach you a cool trick that will give you the power. When you see the minute hand pointed straight at the top, it's on the number 12, so say the word o'clock. Next, check out the number the hour hand points to. Then put that number with a clock. That's all you have to do. Let's try a few examples. Just take a look at these and say them out loud as quickly as you please. One o'clock. Two o'clock. Three o'clock. Four o'clock. Five o'clock. Six o'clock. Seven o'clock. Eight o'clock. Nine o'clock. 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. Now let's try some other clocks, like ones that you might see, so you get some more practice. Say these times with me. 1 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 
6 o'clock. 11 o'clock. Some of you have noticed something a little strange. It seems we have two of each hour in each day. The first 12 o'clock comes when it is night. This is 12 a.m. and also 12 midnight. 12 hours later, it is noon or 12 p.m. Let's look at some examples now and join along with them. 8 o'clock a.m. is the start of my school day. 4 o'clock p.m. is the time for friends to play. 12 o'clock p.m. is the time to eat some lunch. 7 o'clock p.m. is when my dinner gets munched. 9 o'clock p.m. is when I need to be in bed. 2 o'clock p.m. is when I think of what my teacher said. 5 o'clock p.m. is when I do homework and chores. 10 o'clock a.m. is when they open most doors. Since one whole hour has 60 minutes, half an hour has only 30 minutes in it. If you start on the hour and go halfway around, the minute hand will be on the six, hanging upside down. Now you might ask, where will the short hand be? I can tell you now, it's quite easy. The hour hand will be halfway in between two of the numbers somewhere around the ring. Whichever of the numbers the hour hands just passed is the one you say out loud with 30 at the last. Well then, show us how to do it. Okay, don't get your feathers ruffled. 30 3.30 4.30 5.30 6.30 7.30 8.30 9.30 11.30 Okay, Timothy, so when I hear people say it's half past seven, does that mean that the minute hand is on the six and that it's 7.30? Wow, Cuckoo, you catch on really fast. They say half past because the hour hand has traveled halfway past the number before it. Let's look at some more clocks. Read the times on these clocks with me. 8.30 or half past 8. 12 o'clock. 2.30 or half past 2. 11.30 or half past 11. 9 o'clock. 1.30 or half past 1. 7.30 or half past 7. 10.30 or half past 10. 6 o'clock. 3.30 or half past 3. Now you're using your brain power telling time to the half hour. 